That 1.1 you've been using shrinks at elevation? Let me explain. Okay, so in the sensible heat equation, what exactly is this 1.1? Let's take a look. So the 1.1 breaks down as 60 minutes per hour times the specific heat of air. We'll get into that in another video. Times the density of air. So what do you know about the density of air up in the mountains versus at sea level? Well, it's a lot lower, so that's obviously going to change this number. So the density of air at sea level is 0 0.0765 pounds per feet cubed. Let's take Salt Lake City as an example of a higher elevation where our good friends Midgley Huber are located. The density of air there, as you would imagine, is less. It's 0 0.0675 pounds per feet cubed. Okay, so this 1.1 comes from multiplying 60 times the specific heat of air, which is 0 0.24 times the density. Now this is at sea level. So if you calculate this at sea level, you get 1.1. If you recalculate this using the elevation in Salt Lake City, you get 0 0.97 as your convenient factor in the sensible heat equation.